good family welcome back to the channel today we're going to be going over a roll of cinestill 800t that i shot at sunrise and i know you're probably thinking another cinestill 800t video but i had to do it it's such a nice film stock and offers such a unique look uh, i just could not do you know so for this video obviously i woke up pretty early to get some sunrise shots 6 a.m here for texas this will be the first time i'm really taking photos in this type of low light with an Amiya RB67. Now to be clear, these first four photos that I took were on Fuji 400H. I had to clear that roll because it was left over from another shoot. First location was outside one of Texas's many Andes custards. This being my first time shooting long exposures with the Amiya RB67, I wanted a place that was well lit and pretty easy to shoot in low light. I don't know what it is, us photographers are just obsessed with shooting restaurants at night, so this place was perfect. I was able to get a few different angles on the establishing shots of the Andes, which is something that I would advise you to do if you're shooting a series of photos on one particular subject. You kind of want to mix things up a bit. Now when I finished taking the establishing shots, I wanted to get a bit closer to the building to gather some detail shots. Now when I got closer to the Andes, I took a photo of the trash can and the menu, and then I also took a, a photo of the top of the building. This picture in particular is pretty crazy because you know, when you're shooting these long exposures, they can really look like you're shooting pictures during the day. Uh, you know, when the shutter is open, you're just letting in all that light. Uh, it's really different from what you see, obviously. Now, this next photo is probably one of my favorites of the entire shoot. And ironically, it was shot on the Fuji 400H. I got pretty close to the building and I shot upwards towards the roof, uh, kind of just getting the corner of the roof. I wanted to get something pretty symmetrical. I was really, really impressed with the Fuji 400H and this low light situation. Honestly, when I shot it during the day, I was kind of disappointed with it but this has definitely made me more excited to use the Fuji when I'm shooting on low light. After I took that photo, I was super excited because we finally get to go into the Cinestill. Now, after I loaded the Cinestill, I wanted to get one more photo of the Andes uh, just to make sure I had one. And I ended up framing it with my car, getting some action in the front on the left-hand side of the frame, and then getting that nice sort of wide shot of the Andes. This one definitely had that color rendition that is, you know, that is known with Cinestill, a lot more cool, uh, I ended up editing some really purple tones into it. I loved the way this came out, um, but we'll talk more about the tones of the Cinestill in a second. At this point in the morning, the sunrise is pretty much in full effect. I wasn't going to get that darkness anymore, so I decided to go to a lake to get some more photos with the Cinestill, kind of to do things differently. When I got to the lake, the sun was just starting to peek over the trees that surrounded the lake, so I wanted to get a photo with some nice depth between the trees, and I think this one was a great example of doing that. I also wanted to grab a shot of the entire lake. And as you can see, the Cinestill is definitely on the cooler side of color rendition. I edited these photos pretty heavily because I did not like the way they came out, especially just these two photos in particular. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the ultra cool tones that you'll get out of Cinestill at this time of day in particular. And you can see even when I'm shooting with subjects that are being directly hit with sunlight, they tend to ear on the cooler side. But that's something that I anticipated going into the shoot, so I'm not really surprised there. To wrap up the roll of Cinestill, I ended up going to a restaurant that had a pretty retro feel to it, and I thought this would look great with the type of film stock that we were shooting. Now, ultimately, I love these photos because of the story they tell. You know, I hope when someone looks at these photos, it can encourage them to go out and support locally owned businesses, things like that. And one thing that was really apparent from these photos in particular that you weren't really seeing in the other photos was that red glow that, that was coming from the highlights when you shoot with Cinestill. This is just one of those unique looks that definitely looks a lot better when you're shooting at night, especially when you have those, you know, classic gas station shots or those classic parking garage shots. I do hope to shoot the last roll that I have at night and get that classic Cinestill look. Uh, obviously just through my eyes. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you have any questions about Cinestill, medium format film, or just medium format film cameras in general, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. It, it does help out the channel and I appreciate it. I think that's it for today. But as always, stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. That's it. Say